Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Leo. So at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is a slow moving energy this is an energy of someone who is quite cautious in love but this is somebody who's also very uh committed this is someone who's who prefers commitment but they like to make sure before they they commit but once this person commits i do see them being very all in this is someone who wants something long term this is somebody who is capable of you know really investing fully and i do see a very grounded mature person here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um leo Okay, so the first card we have is the Eight of Cups, and this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Five of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so there could be a situation where you, you had to walk away from something. Um, with this Eight of Cups, it's like there's something that wasn't really serving you anymore. Um, but it's something that you had emotionally invested in. But it's like you chose yourself, you know your worth, and you walked away, you abandoned it. And um, there, there may be at times some feelings of wondering whether you made the right decision or not. Um, there's also the sense of whoever you walked away from having a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Because this person, they still are very attracted to you. They still see you as this queen of wands. They still see your value. And this person is in quite a pessimistic energy here. Um, but there is this, this energy here of um, wanting to move slowly. Or this could be a new person being represented by this Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, I, I do see this person, it's like they're not going to come in right away. Um, there is a sense of you leaving something behind. Um, you may even be in a healing pro healing period after this. But I do see somebody else coming in and it's going to be someone who's quite um, cautious. Um, someone who's very practical as well. And again, you're definitely in your element with this Queen of Wands. I do see this as you knowing your worth. You not settling for less than what you deserve. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, and this is Scorpio energy, so you could be dealing with Scorpio. So there is a change here, there's a shift, there's a transition, something is coming to an end, you're leaving something behind. There's also a transformative energy, taking back your power, transforming, and, um, you know, really being in your element. So I do see here, it's like something is ending, but there's also something new approaching with that Knight of Pentacles energy. So this could be a new person, um, or this could even be the person who you walked away from, you know, it's like them changing as well, them transforming. Um, but um, regardless of if this is a new person or the same person, I do see that whoever this Knight of Pentacles person is, that is going to lead to serious commitments, long-term commitments. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this. Okay, so we have the world card, and this is uh, fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. 
Next, you have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, water energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Cups, water energy. Okay, so again, with the World Card, we're seeing an ending. Some sort of cycle is completed, a chapter, a phase. But this is a successful completion. You guys have reaped a lot of good karma here. Um, this is, you know, doing what's best for you. And, you know, it's like being quiet. You're about to come into some sort of emotional fulfillment as well. Um, I do see a phase coming to an end. And this is, into, this is a, a phase where, you know, it's like a phase where you may have been settling for less than what you deserved. That is coming to an end. Um, you're successfully it's like graduating with this world card. And with the seven of cups in the reverse, it's like you're not falling for potential anymore. You're not falling for illusions. There's just the sense of you adopting a very realistic mindset or you're attracting a partner here who's very realistic, very practical, but also a person who follows through on their promises. Somebody who, you know, has good morals and integrity. And um, again, we're seeing with the Ten of Cups, whatever this Knight of Pentacles is, this person, this new person or whatever this is, it's going to lead to the Ten of, the Ten of Cups. It's going to lead to a serious, long-term, committed relationship. But I don't see it coming in quickly after this ending it's like it's very slow after this ending there's still going to be some sort of healing period or just a period of you knowing your worth honoring yourself before this um knight of pentacles person comes in and i do see you achieving that emotional fulfillment and stability okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you leo God says a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries okay so I do see again it's like something here is really changing it's a very dramatic shift because you also have that death card and we have this world card so something is coming to an end but it's it's like it's a very noticeable change that is going to be happening here okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you um Leo Because there's pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you okay so I'm, I'm seeing you guys waking up to the red flags seeing something and choosing to abandon it because there, perhaps there was too many red flags but with the seven of cups in the reverse it's like you guys know better there's this energy of you guys your intuition is very sharp at this time or there's just a very realistic energy about you and um there is a sense of walking away from something that you don't see potential in anymore. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Leo. So the card says, devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So I do see this as you guys will have your um, happily ever after your dream come true. But it's almost like there's some sort of delay here. If something is coming to an end first, but it's like it's a delayed gratification. But it's going to be something, it's like it's going to exceed your expectations. It's going to be something um, better than what you were settling for before. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.